you're looking for detailed work, get the detailer brush. Works really well and it's cute and tiny. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fun video for you today. This was requested and I thought this was a great video idea. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite brushes for small eyes. So I do have small eyes, I have hooded lids, and it's just, you know, tight quarters on the eyelids. So I need smaller brushes to be able to really do detail work and just to not get shadow all over the place. So I thought this would be a helpful video because I know a lot of us have hooded lids and or small eyes. So yeah, I'm just gonna run through my favorites. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then an honorable mention. So I've got crease brushes, I've got like brushes that I use um, for lid colors, and then I've got some that I use for outer corner work. So, oh, and then lower lash line. I've got the whole thing. I've got it all here pretty much. So yeah, these are the ones we're gonna be talking about. So let's get to it. Okay, starting with brushes I like to use for my crease and transition area. This one right here, this one's not around anymore. This is a Revlon brush and I believe it's just called like a crease brush or something like that, but now they have new brushes out, like a whole new line, and I was looking at it and their new one that's a crease sort of a brush looks very similar to this. So I think if you went with that one, it would hopefully be similar enough to this one that it would work for you or for me if I pick it up too. So this one is just a really nice crease brush because it's small, but then it's just slightly tapered up to the top, so it just kind of, has that little bit of a tulip shape. So it just works perfectly to get into the socket of your eye and then blend and then blend up onto, you know, with hooded lids, you have to blend up onto the little bone area situation. So you need something that's gonna blend up there but not take over your entire eye look. So this one is great for that. This is another great one. This is the Sedona Lace EB15 brush. You've probably seen this brush a bajillion times in my tutorials because this is what I pretty much use almost every single time. Again, it's the same situation as the other one, as the Revlon one, in that it is that sort of um, smaller brush, but then it tapers up. This one is a little bit fatter around, and then it tulips up, like it points up to be even skinnier at the top. So you can kind of see the difference between the two. But I love this one too, because it's got that tulip shape. Again, you get into your crease there, and then it just blends up onto that bone there just perfectly. And I just find this to be really nice quality. It does shed a little bit, you know, when I'm really like, digging into it to clean it. So it will shed a little bit, but I've had this brush for a long time and it's holding up really well. For packing color onto my lids, I love to use concealer brushes. I love, love, love the Sigma concealer. I think it's the F70 or something like that. I have used that forever. That one's in a lot of my tutorials as well. But this one has kind of like been a front runner for me recently. This is the Wet n Wild Small Concealer Brush. I think it's really cute that it's the white with the sort of like pinky sort of bristles. It's just a really cute brush and I think it's like 99 cents, so it's ridiculously affordable, but I love it. I mean, it is perfect to be able to really get intense color on your lids and it's small. Like I just find that small concealer brushes work so well for that because they're tiny, they're dense, um, usually they're synthetic, so you can use it for like um, pigments and you can wet the brush. I do that a lot with this one and also the Sigma Concealer F70. So you can wet it and then just get that really intense look right on your lids. So this one is perfect for that. I also love this one for packing color on my lids, but this one is ideal for detailed work. So inner corner, lower lash line, even outer corner. If you are just looking for a really, really teeny tiny brush for really detailed work, this is ideal. This is the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. So if you're looking for detail work, get the detailer brush. I don't think this one is sold individually, I'm pretty sure. I think it's just part of their like Real Techniques Essentials Kit or Starter Kit or something like that. I can't remember the exact name, but I'll find it and link it down below for you. But all their brushes are really nice quality, so I think that that kit is worth getting just to have all their brushes or those, I think it comes with four brushes, but this one is definitely a standout for me. So it is kind of similar to the small concealer brush in that it is a small, flat, skinny brush, but this one is even smaller. 
and it's more tapered at the top. So you can see them like side by side. So they're just both like skinny, flat brushes and really tiny, but this one is tinier and it has that taper to it, which I just love. And it also has like a little grippy thing on the bottom, which is really nice. You can hang on to it well, and it's just a cute looking brush. So works really well and it's cute and tiny. Then for my outer corner, outer V sort of work, I love this little brush. I had to look up the name of it. This is from CVS. This is the Beauty 360 Bamboo Eyeshadow Brush, and it's around $6. This is so perfect for that. So you can see, it is just a small crease brush, and it's very similar to the e.l.f. I believe they're called the crease brushes. They're really similar to this but this one is a little bit skinnier and a little bit longer. So I find that it just gets into my outer V really, really well, so it packs on the color well, but then it also blends over into my crease really well. The bristles are really, really soft, like just like high quality feeling, so they feel soft, but not too soft, so they don't like poof shadow everywhere. It just blends really, really well. So I love the way that it blends, but I love the shape of it and just how tiny it is. So this one is awesome for outer corner work. This is an honorable mention for outer corner work. This is the Delium Tools 781. Let me show you um, compared to this. So it's honestly sort of like in between all of these, you know what I mean? Like it's sort of like a crease transition sort of a brush, but it's smaller. So I use this for my outer corner and that outer V area. This one is going to really diffuse the color more because it is the shadow more, because it is fluffier and larger. So if you're looking for kind of like a softer sort of look, I would go with something like this. But I find that I can still do soft sort of eye looks with this as well. It just depends on how much shadow I get on the brush and how many times I go back into it to apply more. So it's really just kind of like personal preference um, what you're looking for. I use both of these and love both of them, but my pick of the two is this one. And lastly, for lower lash line work, again, if you watch my tutorials, you've probably seen this brush a bajillion times. This is the Sedona Lace EB21 brush, and it's really just kind of like a shorter, stubbier, flat, skinny brush. So it is shorter um, and not like as long. The bristles aren't as long as the detailer brush from Real Techniques or the Wet n Wild Small Concealer Brush. So it's a little bit stubbier, not by much, but just a little bit. Um, why I love this so much is that I've used pencil brushes and other kind of brushes for my lower lash line, but I find this one to just be the most accurate where it's so skinny that it just really packs the color on very well and the bristles are soft, but they have enough of like a density and a texture to them where they pack on the color really well, but then they also just diffuse that color. So you can really get it on there, but then also blend it really well. So this is absolutely my favorite brush for lower lash line work. I've tried a lot of different ones and I always go back to this one because it's just ideal. I even bring this one to travel with. Like a lot of times I'll go for more of like my shorter sort of brushes to bring with me, but I'll still bring this one because I just think that this works the best for lower lash line work. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope it was really helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what some of your favorite brushes are. I'm always looking to explore new tools. I feel like tools are essential for just like good makeup looks. You know, having the right tools that apply the products well make a huge difference. So I would love to know some of your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.